What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 26.1 beta 4 just a week after the release of beta 3. Now along with this iOS release, we also got the fourth beta for iPadOS 26.1, watchOS 26.1, macOS 26.1, tvOS 26.1, along with visionOS 26.1 beta 4. But of course in this video we're talking all about iOS 26.1 beta 4 and everything new in the update. So first off, you can see the size here came in at almost 13 gigabytes on my iPhone 17 Pro Max but of course the size is going to depend on the version you're coming from before so it might be smaller or larger than that size let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new update in our settings general about the new build is 23b 5073a so we do have an a at the end of the build number which does usually indicate that we are going to see an RC release and of course the final release is just around the corner as well so if we go back and check out the modem firmware that did also receive an update here. So it's 1.10.05 on the iPhone 17 series. So if you had any modem issues, those could be resolved with this update. All right. So now what's new here in iOS 26.1 beta four. And the first thing is something we've been asking for ever since the very first iOS 26 beta. And that is a toggle for liquid glass. So if we go into our settings and go down here to display and brightness, you will We'll notice that we have a brand new section here called liquid glass and it says choose your preferred look for liquid glass and if you go into there we have two options we have clear and we have tinted and you can see we have a little preview here up top that shows us what each one will look like so it is a subtle change but of course if you have been following the betas and all the ios versions in ios 26 you would know that it makes quite the difference throughout ios 26. and if you read the text beneath apple says that clear is more transparent revealing the content beneath as you can see right there on the line whereas tinted increases opacity and adds more contrast and just to give you an example of what this might look like if you go to the home screen right here you can see that this is clear so this is what the clear looks like if i change this to tinted you can see what tinted looks like so it's a very subtle difference you can really only tell when you have a lot going on in the background so if we go to music for example and we're scrolling let's go to maybe the new section as you scroll over these different colors right here you can see what the background looks like when you have this set to clear now if we have this set to tinted take a look at the difference here so you can see it's not nearly as you know clear i guess it's more of a frosted glass i would say so it's honestly not that big of a difference unfortunately we still don't have clear being like what we saw in the very first ios 26 beta where it was super clear and a lot of people didn't like it but a lot of people did like it as well so unfortunately we are not there yet however this is a start for apple i would also like to see a slider here so instead of just choosing between clear and tinted maybe have a slider where we can go from more clear or really tinted or you know vice versa like really clear like the very first ios 26 beta so unfortunately you know we don't have that yet but at least we are you know here with a start with 26.1 beta 4 and this new liquid glass toggle so you guys let me know in a comment down below do you like clear or do you like tinted better i think clear is a lot more like liquid glass but i don't know what do you guys think and here's what the now playing bubble looks like on the lock screen when in clear mode so you can see the lines between it right there and if i change this to tinted here's what it looks like in tinted mode so again just more of what i would call a frosted glass look with this enabled when you have tinted enabled and here's what it looks like in dark mode with clear enabled so this is the clear liquid glass and if we go back and change that to tinted you can see it tints actually you can see it when it comes back to the music app that is what it looks like in tinted mode so it's a lot darker and of course just like with light mode you cannot see the background as easily and there's also another subtle change to liquid glass with ios 26.1 beta 4 and that has to do with the glow when you touch the liquid glass right here you can see that when you tap on that it adds this little glow to the background glyph icon so when you touch right there take a look at how it kind of blows it out and everything behind it gets really bright so it brightens up that whole little bubble right there but that's been tweaked with beta 4 because now if you do the same thing you can see it does not brighten up everything behind it so if we go ahead into this you can see that it does not brighten up everything and if i go over to something that's more white right there it's a lot more subtle now and it doesn't brighten up which was pretty annoying beforehand so shout out to dylan mcd8 on twitter for pointing this out and while we're in the same section i also want to show you down here under display we have display zoom if you go into that you will notice that we now have the new ios 
iOS 26 wallpapers there for this section. It did not show that before. It showed the iOS 18 wallpapers. However, you can see that it will actually show the old messages application. So you can see that's the iOS 18 style or even before style of messages application. So I'm not sure what's going on. Clearly that's a bug, a little oversight from Apple, because if you look on the left, that's iOS 26.1 beta 3, 26.1 beta 4 on the right. So take a look at the difference in the messages application there. So clearly a bug, Apple does need to fix that, but at least they did adjust the wallpaper to match iOS 26. Now, if we head back into our settings and go to the Apple intelligence and Siri section, we have a change right here as well. So this is beta 4. Take a look at beta 3 and of course previous versions as well. We had beta underneath of the Apple intelligence icon. Also, it was centered. Now it is left aligned. So everything's pushed up and to the left. Looks a bit cleaner now. And you can see that beta is now missing from the Apple intelligence icon. So I'm not sure if that itself is a bug, but I don't think that the left aligned is a bug. So it finally matches up with the other sections. Like if we go into general, for example, you can see that is left aligned right there. But what's interesting is the removal of the beta badge. So Apple, as far as I know, has not said this is out of beta yet. So we'll have to wait and see if that's actually a bug or if Apple intelligence is officially out of beta now. Now iOS 26.1 beta 4 also introduces a new toggle that I've been wanting for years at this point. So if we go into our settings and go into camera and then we scroll down, you will notice that we have a brand new toggle for lock screen swipe to open camera. So this does exactly what it sounds like. Swipe left on the lock screen to quickly access the camera. So this is on by default. Of course, we all know this action has existed for a while. You swipe left it's right there and you can get to the camera very quickly. However, if you're like me, you've done this on accident so many times, probably hundreds of times at this point. So now you can disable that. So you never have those accidental swipes on the lock screen. So if I go here, you can see if I go to swipe over, nothing happens. I do not have the camera anymore that opens up when I swipe to the left. So that's awesome, especially if you're somebody like me who usually has camera down here as a toggle on the bottom, or if you have the camera control button, or or if you set that to be related to the action button. There are multiple ways to get to camera, so it's nice now that we can disable the lock screen swipe gesture, which happens on accident quite a lot. Now, taking a look at the release notes for iOS 26.1 beta 4, we do have a couple things noteworthy here. So we do have a fixed bug, a fixed issue that says devices might sleep unexpectedly while using certain apps on the lock screen. So that has been resolved. However, we do have two known issues I wanted to mention. The first one is the airdrop icon in the iOS share sheets has some visual defects at the corner, so that will be fixed eventually. Also, we have one that says questions related to news and Portuguese might fall back to web search or chat GPT. So nothing too crazy there with the release notes, but I do want to mention those. And of course, I will leave those linked down in the description below if you want to read through all of them. But let's move on to the performance and the battery life here with iOS 26.1 beta 4 on my iPhone 17 Pro Max. So performance so far feels pretty good to me. I honestly have not really been able to tell a big difference since the early betas of 26.1. So hopefully by the time we see the RC, we will be able to see some type of difference in performance. But overall, I'm just noticing a more fluid, you know, OS with less bugs and less visual hiccups. So that's always a good sign. Let's check out the Geekbench scores. So we scored a 3786 on the single single core and a 9742 on the multi core. So we will run another test here on the RC in the final to see how we compare. But I just wanted to read those numbers out to you. Now, moving on to the battery life, I would not expect any type of change to battery life with this beta. Of course, I will be testing it. And if I do notice any changes with battery life, specifically on the iPhone Air, which is the main device I've been using, along with the 17 Pro Max, I will report back to you on that. But so far, I'm not seeing anything that would indicate battery life would be improved here. You guys can also tell me what I started of the video at I'm at 97 or 79 percent right now so you guys will have to let me know what I started the video with to see if battery life is good or bad compared to previous beta videos I've done and then finally let's talk about what to expect next from Apple so next up is most likely going to be iOS 26.1 RC the release candidate build which will be out next week most likely on Monday October 27th that means that we should be seeing the final official release for iOS 26.1 on the week of November 3rd, if not on Monday, November 3rd itself. So that's when we should see iOS 26.1 roll out to the general public. And of course, if you are on the betas, if you have the RC, it's most likely going to be the same as the final. So that's what we're expecting. And then we should be seeing iOS 26.2 
beta 1 go out shortly after the release of that and that will be a pretty big update I'm guessing and then we are also anticipating iOS 26.0.2 this is going to be a small bug fix update that's going to go out to the general public it's not going to be a beta and we are expecting that as early as this week so there you have it guys that is iOS 26.1 beta 4 a pretty important update honestly just for the fact that we have a change for liquid glass the fact that Apple kind of went back and allows us now to change between clear and tinted that's not something I expected so that's a pretty big update along with the other minor ones here so if I find anything else new of course I will let you guys know in my Apple weekly episode on Saturday but for now that is iOS 26.1 beta 4 so let me know your thoughts down there in the comments below about the performance the battery life just your overall experience with iOS 26.1 and also what do you think about this new section here for changing liquid glass but anyways guys thanks for watching and I'll see you soon